Hey, what's up everybody? Today we're going to build this bowl out of oak and poplar. Let's do it. I start out with a blank that's uh, about 4x4. Four oak on the top and the bottom, poplar in the middle. And I find the center and then use my compass to make the circle. Then I take it over to the bandsaw and make it pretty round before taking it over to the lathe. Next I add a 3 inch base plate and chuck it up on the lathe and get it ready to roll. Once chucked up, I go to a roughing gouge to true up the blank. And uh, you can see I start pretty slow here. I just work at that until I got it nice and round and ready to roll. I'll speed it up here for you. Once the blank is trued up, I move over to a bowl gouge to clean up the bottom of the bowl. And um, I take off probably a good half inch here. I just get things kind of nice and round and uh, ready for our tenon. Once I have the bottom nice and flat, I move on to a carbide detail tool to make our recessed tenon so that we can uh, take it off the face plate, turn it around and chuck it up to work on the inside. Before switching it around to work on the inside of the bowl, I go to a round carbide tool to shape the sides. I just go a little bit concave in the middle just to give it a little bit of shape. From here it's on to sanding most of the bottom and the sides of the bowl. Start with 120 and go up to 600. Once we're sanded to 600 I move on to finishing the sides of the bowl. I start with three coats of a general finishes oil and then I move on to a wax. Uh, I use three coats of each. The first two I apply with the lathe on and the final one I rub on just spinning the lathe by hand. Once we're done with our finish I'll remove the bowl from the face plate. I'll put it in the recessed tenon in a chuck and I'll start working on the bottom of the bowl. I start here with a bowl gouge just hollowing out the center and uh, work at that as far as it'll let me go. After that, once I don't have enough room for the bowl gouge anymore, I will move to a detail tool to really chunk out most of the inside. Once I've removed everything from center that I can get out with the tailstock still in, I will take the tailstock out and uh, go to my round carbide cutter and really get rid of the rest of that center piece. From there, I'll move back and forth from the detail cutter to the round and even the square finishing cutter, uh, carbide cutter, just to get everything hollowed out and even the way I like it. Once I have the inside of the bowl hollowed out as far as I'd like to go, I work on shaping the lip of the bowl. You can see here I grab the round carbide cutter and I'm taking very light cuts on it. There's a couple different views for you so you can really see how easy I'm being with the tool. I just round over each edge to uh, something pleasing to the eye and uh, get it ready for finished sanding. Once we're done shaping the lip of the bowl, it's time to go back to sanding. We'll once again start with 120 and go all the way up to 600 and then we'll move forward with our oil and wax finish.
when we're done finishing the inside of the bowl, we'll remove the bowl from the chuck, flip it around one more time, and put it in a set of cold jaws on the chuck. We do this to clean up the bottom of the bowl. Here, I'm taking super light cuts, again with the round carbide cutter, just cleaning up that bottom, making it a little bit concave, so it sits nice and flat. And then we'll once again move on to sanding up through the grits, and then a quick coat of oil and wax. And then we're ready to roll. And here's our finished bowl. I also wanted to add that this is actually the first bowl I ever turned on my lathe and I'm really happy with the results. I picked a couple pieces of scrap wood that I wasn't afraid to mess up just in case it didn't go as well as it did, but I have to say I'm really happy with the results. I really appreciate you guys checking out this video. Please like and subscribe if you haven't already, and if you have any questions please leave them below, and I look forward to seeing you guys next time. See you later.